The day has finally come, friends. Now available, the LG OLED EVO Star Wars Edition TV. And we got some amazing pictures on that new awesome lightsaber remote. Plus more information on the Samsung Arc curved 55-inch TV, now attached with a release date. And maybe we have a hint of the QD OLED Neo G10 monitor coming soon. All this coming up on Victor's Reality. Alright friends, on the LG website, the LG OLED EVO C2 65-inch Star Wars Edition TV is now available at $299.99. You can get your hands on one, so order immediately. It's an LG Online exclusive, and there will only be 501 TV sets available. This is a Star Wars fan's dream, and even the box art looks amazing. Here are the pictures of the lightsaber remote as quoted by LG. You can see it's a squarish design. It looks beautiful, but you can see here the streaming buttons. This squarish design looks beautiful, and you can see the nub in the middle and the buttons to get you where you need to get to. You can see here it has built-in Star Wars memorabilia, exclusive to this TV set. This TV has major Star Wars branding all over, inside and out. It's basically a C2 65-inch 4K TV, but Star Wars. Get this while it's available. This will sell out in the coming days. And remember, this is exclusive to the LG website online. Please leave a comment down below and let me know if you got one. Because at $3,000, the force must be strong with you. Nerd! Moving on over to the Samsung Arc 55-inch curved TV, ET News is reporting that the Samsung Odyssey Arc will be released this August, as it has obtained its radio wave certification and completed preparations for release by reporting to the Standby Power Reduction Program to be released in North America and Korea in August. The Odyssey Arc was revealed at CES 2022, which I brought you that information. It is a 55-inch rotating display, 1000R curvature, 4K resolution, with quantum mini LED light emitting diodes. The Odyssey Arc is larger than the 49-inch ultra-wide Odyssey Neo G9, the main feature of this monitor is it has a multi-screen option for up to three areas, taking multitasking to the next level. It is speculated that this TV will cost, as the factory price has not been set yet, but considering the factory price of the QLED TVs with mini-LED technology at 2.5 million to 3.2 million won, the Odyssey Arc, which includes a dedicated cradle and remote control, is expected to be around 3 million won, which if you do some currency conversions, it equates to about $2,500, I would say twenty-five dollars to $3,000 here in America. But we shall see. Nothing is set in stone. They might surprise us. ET News will have more information closer to release date. With the launch of the Odyssey Arc, Samsung Electronics is targeting the growing gaming monitor market with ultra-premium products. The global gaming monitor market reached 18 million units last year, more than doubling 7.72 million units in 2019. This year, it's expected to break through the 20 million mark, for the first time ever. Friends, some interesting news right here at the end of this reporting. Look what they're announcing. Last month, the company has applied for a trademark of the Odyssey OLED and announcing the launch of the OLED gaming monitor products. Now, Odyssey OLED, what does that make you think? What happened with the Neo G7? Once the Ultra 49-inch Neo G9 released, it was under the Neo marketing. Trademarks from the European office and in Korea that I showed you last year and early this year showed that the Odyssey line of monitors would be receiving a Neo line, which would happen this year. We're getting the Neo G7 and Neo G8, and they haven't officially announced it yet. They stealth released it at CES 2022, a new and improved B version of the Neo G9. And now what does this mean? Odyssey OLED? To me, that means an Odyssey Neo G10, something with QD OLED technology. You know that's what it is. Next year, CES, Hopefully, we will see QD OLED monitors in the 32-inch to 43-inch range. Now, that's what we want, but they have announced that the QD OLED technology will be in the 49-inch and 77 inches next year. And I know 99% of the people here on my channel want a 16x9, 27-inch, 32-inch, even give us a 42 to 43-inch, but 16x9 is what we want. I know that for a fact. And you can see here the product name on June 3rd, 2022. And the picture, look how beautiful, look how curved it is. It is super curved and glossy. And you can see here the ARC controller. But this TV does look premium, $2,500 to $3,000. Hopefully, right? Hopefully it's not too much more than that. So friends, here I brought you the information of both the Samsung Odyssey ARC 55-inch mini LED TV with that 1,000R curvature, the first for a TV being that curved. And the availability now 
of the LG C2 65 inch Star Wars Edition TV. Both technologies, both TVs are amazing. And they're both coming from the future. Star Wars and that 1000 hour curvature is Star Wars ish, right? So, friends, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did find it helpful, please leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you want to see more Star Wars and more about the Odyssey line of monitors, stay safe out there and I'll see you guys next time.